Hi guys, Sean and Molly here with the Angel Team. Welcome to our YouTube channel. Today we want to talk about the fastest growing areas of Evansville. So there are definitely some pockets of areas around Evansville that have lots going on. They have residential homes going in, we've got apartments going in, parks, all kinds of stuff. So first we wanted to start off talking about the Freedman Park area out here in Warwick County. Sean, can you tell them a little bit more about it? Yeah, Freedman Park, I mean, it was developed in 2017 and there's just a ton to offer. Where you have a lot of this area that had what we call kind of a, a level and clear and then build mentality, Freedman Park stepped in and tried to connect the terrain to the lifestyle to the housing community. So what's that mean? Beautiful terrain, you're gonna see natural organic areas of just overgrowth mixed in with your trails, mixed right in with your entertainment venues and your housing. Yeah, so when we're talking homes over here with the Freedman Park area, we've got several major communities. I mean, you've got uh, Waterstone, you've got Brookstone. Uh, tell them a little bit about Berkshire. So Berkshire is a gigantic Jago community going on out here. There's some areas that are already full, but there is also still empty lots available. Jago is a great builder to work with. Um, so if you're looking for new construction, that's definitely the area to look at, um, to be out here near Freedman, because I mean, you literally could walk out your back door and within steps be in Freedman Park, walking with your kids, playing with them at um, the playground. There's a, a dog park here, so you could bring your dogs over here to play. There's concerts, um, there's trick-or-treating in the park. There's so many events. Um, even kids have school performances out here. So Freeman Park has really become the area to be out here in Warwick County. And it's just located perfectly too, because we all have drive time commutes to work. We're going to come from Warwick County, Newburgh area. We're gonna go into Evansville. You can even stay off the main traveled paths and just hit Oak Grove Road right into Costco, into Walmart, the pavilion areas over on the east end of town, which is just, I mean, who doesn't like a less stress environment to drive in anyway? Uh, she mentioned on uh, following up on the homes and the neighborhoods, if you're looking for a high-end exclusive type development, you've got Victoria just right over here. Um, you're just going to have to check it out to, to see what kind of homes those are. It's beautiful. We're getting into the golf course community of uh, Victoria National there, which is a top rated golf course around here in the country. Um, coming back around here though to Friedman, uh, check out freedmanpark.com. That's freedmanpark.com because there's there's just too much we're not going to do justice to. When you're talking about blending your lifestyle into your housing, into your walking, I mean, who doesn't like a dog park? You know, who doesn't like to have uh, runs orchestrated through the park or just to be able to walk in tranquility? You yeah. notice this view where we're videoing at. This is a walking trail. And it's just uh, it's a different feel than just clomping along on pavement all the time. And for you that want to stay away from the ticks, hey, we've got the paved walking paths as well. There's miles of them out here. A few other things would be your amphitheater type setups. So for corporate venues, outdoor churches, things like that, people can rent these amphitheaters. They've thought about things ahead of time tremendously. For instance, there's parking for food trucks. There's handicap accessibility. Um, there's areas where your local sports teams can meet to do their awards banquets. I think that's yeah. you know some of the stuff we've done in the past out here and as I well. And I think you can see even behind us here, there's even a lake. Um, you are allowed to fish in there as long as you've got your proper licensing and all that. So um, there's just too much, like Sean said, um, to even touch in the video um, on everything that there is to offer out here. But coming back to homes, I mean, we like to live, work, play, where we can also blend all that. There's more people that are working from home. And so when you're thinking about taking that daily break, going for a walking meeting or just getting out and about, this area of, of the area is growing for a reason because it's given people what they want. It's given people that connection. Um, so and we haven't even talked about how close this area is to the schools as well. I mean, you've got your Castle High School, you've got your junior highs, um, John H. Castle Elementary School. They're all just within minutes of living in this area. Mm -hmm. So a beautiful area. Uh, if you're a nature lover, uh, you're going to love this area. Uh, and don't worry, you're so close to all the main attractions, the food, entertainment, and shopping that you're not sacrificing to get in the country either. It's just a, it's a great environment. That's why we continue to see it grow. So there's another area of Warwick County that we want to send you uh, to, to to check out as well. Um, it's called Victoria Woods. 
and we're gonna head there next. So here we are at our second stop for the fastest growing areas around Evansville and it's Victoria Woods, which isn't just a neighborhood, they actually made it into its own town. They did, yeah. Situated here in Warwick County, we're only a mile from Friedman Park, which we just showed you, but this is an exclusive real estate development over here. You're talking 200 acres of rolling terrain, complete with streams, with multiple lakes. You're gonna have a community centers, four miles of walking trails. Think about Victoria Woods as like the exclusive communities you hear about in other big cities brought to our area. You know, I'll tell you, the, the one thing that's gonna be really neat about this is how the landscape architecture, Molly, rolls right into the housing. So that's one of the things, they, they call it conserve and preserve. And that's, you know, as opposed to many developments where they kind of slash and burn and then they rebuild back up. This is the opposite of that. So you are nature lovers that love outdoor activities. You want to be close to amenities, but you want that exclusive small town feel. That is the town of Victoria Woods. So Sean, now tell them a little bit about the price point for this community. Sure, Molly. Yeah, we had clients. In fact, we had several clients approach us out of Nashville, believe it or not. They had in common that they work from home and um, this is going to make some people mad around here, but they'd never heard of Indiana hardly. I mean, I'm joking, but they said, we've never stepped foot in Indiana. We didn't, it's just not on our radar, but can you show us around? Because we're hearing that with uh, more affordable home prices and land prices, we might have some options versus the 5,500 a month we're paying in rent right now. So we did, we brought them right out here and took them to several communities, one of which we just landed on and I, I couldn't budge them for several, for several hours, which was Victoria Woods. So what did that look like for these uh, two young couples? Um, you can get into this subdivision, you're talking uh, upper 70s for a lot. That's one of the smaller lots, which you will find out about on their website. That is victoriawoods.com or victoriawoodsagain.com to see that. They were uh, pre-approved at around the 600,000 mark. And so we connected them with the builder, we secured the lot and they were able to commence on with their building project. So I, I would say that's probably running the lower side of a successful build just based on uh, land development, you know, a footer foundation, that kind of thing, permitting that, that is out here. Um, now you can see in our videos as we're rolling along here, there's houses that are much higher than that. There's lots that are over an acre and you'll see that reflected in the price. But the people coming out here, it's uh, not all about the price. They're looking for a lifestyle setting that this is calling to them. Um, yeah, so out here, you definitely, you are farther out uh, in the county and so you're not as close to uh, grocery shopping and um, convenience places like that but you're still what maybe 15 minutes away um, from from all of that so um, you still are well within driving distance of all of that right maybe that far away and when you're when you get used to Evansville and if you are used to Evansville now you realize that you can be about anywhere in 20 minutes within reason so it's just it's not a big deal for people around here. We don't have the rush hour commutes. And again, one of the biggest things that I think is nice about these sprawling rural areas that are blending into the, the cities is the drive time commutes. You've got multiple areas and ways to get to the same place. You can cut across the country or you can take the main drag. Uh, so I, I, for me, I'm a, I'm a time strap person many times. And, I, and if I'm not time strapped, sometimes I'll go the extra route in order to save the stress if that makes sense but um just beautiful out here again the streams the the lakes the sprawling area you've even got conservation easements on each end of the north and the south of this community one is 150 acres uh, bordered to victoria woods the town of victoria woods the other side is the victoria national um, golf community which just do your own google searching on that if you're a golf pro i I happen to not be a very good golfer myself, but uh, beautiful, beautiful. And Sean mentioned pre-approval just a few minutes ago. And if you need to get pre-approved, Paul Castrop at Mortgage Masters is our guy. So reach out to Paul, um, he will get you pre-approved. We work great together. 
and um, we want to thank him for sponsoring this video for us. Yeah, and just following up from that, there's steps that uh, need to be taken when you're talking about a new construction build. Obviously, this isn't a place you're yet buying a, a, a remodeled home built 10 years ago. So we can help you um, with contacts and connections for builder relationships, interviewing builders, ones that are approved out here, ones that know this area and that um, can, can help guide you in that process. Everything from, you know, the, the start of your build to helping you through the build process. We're here to help you, all three of us, Molly, myself, and Kendra alike. I think that's probably enough about Victoria Woods. Yeah, I think let's, um, we're gonna head to Burkhart and Green River because you'll pass through that area on the way to McCutcheonville. So. Okay, so we're headed to Vandenberg County next. All right, thank you. Okay, Sean, so now we're talking about our third fastest growing area in Evansville, and that is the Burkhart and Green River Road area, which is like the retail center of town. That's where you're gonna find all your shopping, lots of restaurants, but surprisingly now it's becoming more of a residential area too so the promenade is an area that has had millions of dollars put into it in the last few years why don't you tell them a little bit more about that yeah promenade's a master plan community where they're blending the commercial and the residential feel if you are in evansville you're going to spend time up and down that uh, green river and burkhart corridor that's where all of your franchise you know, fine eating establishments and your cookie shops, your yoga places, you know, your stretch labs, everything's up and down through there. If you're health nuts like us, you'll find yourself at fresh time a lot, good coffee. And you know, proximity, you're probably 13 minutes into that Friedman Park area. You're probably 17, 18 out to the McCutcheonville area. So, you know, like Costco, everybody's always asking us, where's the local Costco? You know, you're, you're right there, two minutes from Promenade. So they've got all the retail establishments, but now we've got residential areas going in. If condo living is what you're looking for, there's Hickory Trace. Jago has developments along here. Goldfinch Cove is actually where we're at right now. And you can see a new build back here. And then behind us, they are actively building. You can probably hear the construction going on behind us. Yeah, Thompson Homes has Summerlin that's up the road from us. In fact, up and down this North Green River Road area, there's quite a few new establishments coming up with various price points of homes. So because it's convenient to Evansville, down Green River from here to the south, you've got the Eastland Mall and you've got more eating and shopping and places, uh, you know, And as again, well. if you've got active kids just down the road or you've got the Deaconess Sports Complex, You've got the Gable soccer fields. So sports families, this is definitely an area that would be convenient to you. Right, gas stations, car washes, you name it, and more coming. So now let's head out a little bit farther north from here and to the McCutcheonville area, which has also got a lot of growth happening there. So now we're at our fourth and final location for our fastest growing areas of Evansville, and that is McCutcheonville on the north side of Evansville. So McCutcheonville is really ideal for somebody that might have to travel for work because you're close to the airport, you're close to the interstates that it will get you quickly to St. Louis or Louisville. And it's definitely got a more rural feel mm -hmm. to it. And so right now we're in McCutcheon Trace neighborhood. It's another Jago community. And if you haven't noticed, if we say Jago, it, they're usually in the fastest growing areas. So why don't you tell them a little bit more about the neighborhood? Yeah, McCutcheon Trace is a fantastic rural community out here. Been very hot the last several years. Three bedroom, two bath homes up to, you know, up to two story, four bed, two and a half bath homes. You're probably in the last year in that 290 to 450 range, depending on what you're buying, the floor plan you're picking out. But what I like about this subdivision is when you come in, nothing is cookie cutter. You've got textures, you've got lines, you've got colors. I, I kind of talk about that because those are the awesome ways to differentiate a house. You know, vertical board and batten, wide architecturally correct trims, clapboard running laterally, maybe some stone or some brick mixed in. And people like that around here. The location's great, the school system's great, and it's just an iconic area in Evansville that many times people that get out here in the McCutcheonville area, they move several times, but never leave the area. Like Molly said, if you're working up the 41 corridor towards that Toyota, you're close in, you can be into Evansville, but you know, come back home to your sanctuary, your rural feel away from the hustle and bustle. So this is McCutcheon Trace, and there's a few reasons why we like it. 
Yeah, and so there's our four fastest growing areas of Evansville. You know, a lot of employers bring a lot of people into this area and there's definitely growth going on. There's a lot of investment going on into the community. And if we can help you in any way, find your next home, feel free to reach out to us. Be sure to like and subscribe our YouTube channel. Thanks a lot, guys. Thank you.